welcome. It has been a while since I've made any effort to film my life, to vlog. I don't, is this my third official vlog? I filmed a ton mid-September of 2023 and I just never edited it. <laughs> I never got around to it and at this point it is mid-January of 2024 so I feel like there's just no point. I'm not gonna be posting that one but since I last um, spoke to the camera. We got a couch. I had filmed myself building it. <laughs> I brought this all the way upstairs all by myself and built it all by myself. That was really fun. I'm still tour guiding, but the season is like super slow right now because obviously it's cold. I'm not doing bike tours right now. So the only tours I'm doing are walking tours and I do those in Chinatown. And so I am only working weekends and at this point it's like two or three shifts a week. So I'm looking for another job. <laughs> Otherwise I've been posting a lot. I've been writing a lot of like scripts, editing like a lot of videos for this. I haven't really had the chance to go outside like I would like because it has been freezing, especially the past couple weeks or past couple days. It's been like 40s, 30s in Chicago basically all winter, but then on Sunday the 14th it got to like negative 7, 8, but with the wind chill it was like negative 30, negative 40, so it was awful and I had a tour that day. I was coming back home and I saw the lake. It looked like it was steaming because the water was still pretty warm, but we suddenly went from 30 degrees to negative 10 degrees. And so there was a steam coming from the water. And so I stopped by Adler Planetarium to take a video and I'll, I'll put this here. And it just, it looked so like, I don't even know how to describe it. Otherworldly, so like mysterious, ethereal. It was so cool. I'd never seen anything like that in like all of my life of living by a huge Great Lake. And then it was in the negatives for like three straight days. Today it's like 20 degrees and it feels so warm. Otherwise, I have also been dancing just to like, you know, do something, be more active. I've been trying to do more of like the creative stuff and the stuff I enjoy doing like singing. I've been sending in auditions. I have to do another one of those soon. And I got my first call back here. That's not until next week and I'm Anxious about it, but I'm just gonna try not to think about it. That's really about it, honestly. I have been staying a lot inside my apartment just cause one, it costs money to go to like a cafe or <laughs> anywhere. And two, again, it's just been so cold, especially the past few days. But there's this place downtown that maybe I'll go to tomorrow that I will show you because it is so nice in there. It's part of like this old building. It's a hotel, most of it is a hotel, but the lobby is like dark wood fireplaces couches it's very like dark academia and it's the perfect place to work i'm gonna try to go there tomorrow but today the tour company i work for won some sort of award with entrepreneur magazine i'm not sure what award it is our boss got interviewed and today they wanted to film like a mock tour. So I was the tour guide and then I kind of gave like a mock tour to all of my, my coworkers. So that was super fun. I'm usually so awkward in front of a camera, like this is fine. But if I know someone else is filming me, I get like hyper aware of what I'm doing and it's like, okay, don't look at the camera. Okay, don't make this face. But I feel like it was pretty easy, especially because I just talked about random stuff and they weren't recording the audio. So I just had to like look like I was telling them about stuff. Like, oh, look over there. This is the Wrigley building, you know? And then after that today, I went to the library so I could one, practice for my callback and two, just like play piano because that's another thing I've been trying to do more recently is just like practice that. And I completely forgot to film any of that because if I want to get back into this vlogging thing, I need to remember to film. Also, if you are new here, thank you for subscribing. I know the majority of what I do are shorts like based on travel stuff, but I do want to try vlogging more, especially when I go on trips. But otherwise I like making just a bunch of travel related videos mainly about places I go, the history of the areas. Sometimes I also make videos about Chicago. I've been talking for like 10 minutes already. So I'm gonna go find something to do. That's all for now.
It is now Friday. I just took a shower so my hair is like still drying and it's really fluffy today. We still have our Christmas <laughs> decorations of the Christmas tree. I think it's the 19th. I keep just like either one forgetting or I'm just too lazy in the moment and I also don't want to do it alone. Today I am gonna go downtown and I mentioned yesterday that there is a um, really cool place that I like to go down and work like a little hotel lobby. So I'm gonna go down there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna work on yet. I've been wanting to write scripts, so I guess I'll just do that. And I don't know what the temperature is outside. Let me see. I thought after yesterday it was gonna be warmer again, but it's 13 degrees out. So we're gonna bundle up. Uh, yeah, because I don't like freezing. There's a cat looking at me. I've been trying to kick her out all day, but she keeps meowing and I need to put these towels away. Okay, let's go. got home I was down there for like three hours or so but then I was getting hungry and now it's almost five so I wanted dinner I got quite a decent bit done I keep t I kept like being like no we'll go home now and then I was like no just write one more so I wrote like five ish scripts I just have to like record them which is like the harder part well the hardest part is the editing when I was there <laughs> I had just posted a short and then <laughs> I've just been like kind of sad about like the whole algorithm thing because like my videos aren't getting the views I would like you know but then someone commented they were like oh I'm surprised like your channel hasn't taken off yet you're gonna do big things and I just like almost started crying <laughs> in public because I was like I really needed that. So if that was you, thank you so much. Uh, I've just been in a rut. Besides that, decently productive afternoon. I don't really do much in the mornings anymore because I keep staying up so late and then I get up late. But I am gonna make dinner now. I don't know what it's gonna be. I don't know if it's just gonna be a Trader Joe's meal or if I actually want to make something. That sounds like a lot of work. Also, uh, when the, the weather was like zero degrees, our heating was out because a pipe froze. And they didn't actually figure that out until a couple days ago. And so our heat today is like finally back on like full force. So I finally was able to walk into my apartment. It wasn't still freezing. Like it's so warm in here. It's so nice. Ah, uh, the little luxuries. <laughs> There's the kitty tail right there. Okay. It is now the 20th. It's Saturday. I was on call for a tour, didn't go, but I'm at least having a tour tomorrow, which is good. Last night though, this channel reached a huge milestone, at least for me. It reached a thousand subscribers. So thank you for coming along. I know it's mainly because of the shorts, mainly because of my Iceland video. So um, if you're here because of that, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this other type of video but I uh, yeah so that's exciting so today it's already like yeah just past one and I have not really done anything I ate breakfast I watched a little live stream and I have to run some errands shortly and then I'm gonna work on some videos but I just wanted to like talk about my resolutions my goals for this year because I always write down my New Year's resolutions. I've always done this since early high school. I've always had them like taped up on my boards. So I'm able to see them throughout the year. 
I'm usually not able to complete all of them. This year I've been trying to be more like realistic. Like I used to have like a journal every day, walk a mile every day, like things that are just like every day. Mentally, I can't do that. I can't stick to like a solid routine like that. Every year I try to add like one more resolution. So last year's 2023, I had 23 resolutions. This year, 24 resolutions. So let's just go into them. So last year I wanted to do two solo trips. I managed to do two solo trips. This year I want to do three solo trips. We'll see if that happens. I have no plans whatsoever right now. I mean, I have ideas that I've started planning, but I can't really like do them right now. Read at least one play a month. Learn at least two new dances a month. I have kept up with that so far. Book a real voiceover gig. Actually, at the end of last year, I officially signed with a voiceover agency in Chicago, which was super exciting. So I haven't been sent anything yet, but we'll see like as time goes on, keep at Happy Little Traveler this account and create a solid social presence, uh, really on all platforms. I have a blog too, but right now that's kind of down, but generally help to just grow this presence, whatever this is. Visit a national park in America. Write slash finish a song. I write so many things, just like little snippets of ideas that I can never form into anything more than that. So I really, really want to do that this year. Practicing more often, get really comfortable with belting and be able to rock an audition. I did get a callback for an audition recently. Um, it was through a video audition though, so I haven't like done anything in person yet. And the in-person stuff is really what gets me. Like I lose all my breath support whenever I'm in front of people. So I'm hoping that um, that'll feel better uh, this next week. Be this is a big one. Be able to fully read slash understand a different language. Obviously that's a really big thing. Maybe not like fully, but like be able to read something and comprehend what's being said. I just really want to get back into language learning. Stop thinking, just do. I'm an overthinker, just do. Consume more arts in whatever form, books, theater, movies, poetry. I've been trying to watch more movies. Again, with the theater, I wanna read more plays. I wanna go see more theater and read more. Cause I'm really bad about reading. Like my attention span <laughs> just isn't there for that. So I wanna get back into that. And along with that, read at least three books this year. I know that's not a lot for some people, but last year I think I read one. And I think that was an audiobook too, so it's bad. Really pursue the things I want to do in my life. Join dance classes. I signed up for dance classes a couple years ago and I still have like four classes I can use from that past and I just haven't gone. So I really wanna to go to some dance classes this year. Practice a piano more often, maybe be able to sight read better because I started learning piano way back in like first, second grade. And I, I did it all up until like through college, but I just, I've never been good at sight reading and I've really fallen off of it. I don't really have a piano to play here. I have like a very like crappy plasticky one, but I really would like to work on that. Finish a sewing project. I've been working on a sewing project for so long that I've never done. Get into crocheting, again, more creative stuff. And then number 24 is stop procrastinating. Just do when you think about it. I feel like a lot of us probably have this issue where like we're thinking about something and then we just kind of like start dreading doing it and then we just don't do it for like months and then you do it and it takes two seconds. So. Instead of doing that, I'm just, if I think about it, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go run that errand that I have to do and then I'm going to work on editing two videos that I have planned. So thank you for coming along. I hope your resolutions are still uh, going strong. It being middle of January, it'll probably be like the end of January whenever this comes out. I will catch y'all later. going to do things but then <laughs> he's cuddling much time to talk but I am off to a tour in Chinatown uh, my car was a little frozen in so I haven't driven it in a week but we're off now
I just got done with my tour and I'm cold because I had to park like 10 minute walk away and it's still like 20 degrees out but it feels like a heat wave compared to last week oh so cold tour went fine but I would just like to say tip your tour guides because I don't think a lot of people know at least where I work tipped positions don't make even like a minimum wage minimum wage in Chicago is $15 an hour uh, so we don't even make that. Um, and I know tipping culture sucks. I absolutely hate it. But just know that most tour guides are not making probably what you expect them to make. So tip your tour guides. I've made that mistake like in the past when I've gone on tours because I'm usually alone. I like haven't like tipped and I feel so bad because now I realize like, oh, you're supposed to tip. So from now on, like, I'm gonna tip tour guides because it's not fun. <laughs> you have a really good tour, you really enjoy the people, and then, yeah. Anyways, now I'm done with that, and now I'm going to go home and warm up. I really want tea. I'm very lucky on this tour that they give us a bowl of soup while we're, we're doing the tour, so I am at least pretty full. But I'm cold, and I want to snuggle up and work on videos the rest of the day. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> I managed to crochet one granny square officially somehow on my first try. It doesn't look great, but I did it. I'm trying to do it again, this time less referencing, but even when I reference the video I watched, I still can't figure it out again and I don't know what I keep doing. So I'm getting frustrated. I'm gonna keep working at this tonight. Okay, this already looks so much better. <laughs> This is the first one. This is the second one. I don't know. It does look a little better in terms of like the sides, I think, are straighter. I think, yeah, it's better. Nice. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna get ready for bed, so I will see you tomorrow. But I just got done with my callback and I'm actually like, I'm, I don't know how I did, I, but I'm really proud of myself because my last audition like was so, oh, I just stepped in water, was so like, not it. Um, but today, like I, I sang and I felt good about singing. Like it was better than when I practiced. Just the nervous energy actually helped me this time. And so I was just really <laughs> happy about that. Um, so... Yeah, I, I don't, I guess I, I don't really care what happens from here, but I'm just really proud of myself for one, getting a call back and two, actually like doing an audition decently well. Um, <laughs> so I definitely am mm, nervous, but it, I'm so happy with myself. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> Hello. 
<laughs> I am currently by the planetarium. I didn't really film the past couple days. Oh, it was Monday. I don't even remember what I did on Monday. I think I stayed inside most of the day and then Tuesday, yesterday, I was just really anxious all day about the callback. So I just like sat and did nothing like crocheted like one square, but that was about it. And then my audition happened, my callback happened, then I was uh, feeling decent about that. Um, but now I'm just dipping in water. Um, it's Wednesday, and my friend and I are going to the planetarium because it's a free day for Illinois residents. And I've never actually been to the planetarium before, so I'm excited about this. But it's 40 degrees. It feels so warm out, but it's also raining. It's misting more so, but like, still have all the snow. But I'm waiting for her to get here, so I'm just kind of walking around right now. And it's weird because there's no one out. I'm used to people just being out and about because they come by here on tours all the time. I've just never been inside the planetarium. It's so foggy, you can't even see the city lights. I'll try to show them to you in a second. I didn't do much today either. I got up pretty late. I've been watching The Bear, so I'm on season two of that, which also takes place in Chicago. So I'm like, oh wow, look where that is. It's like 6 p.m., but it's been so dark all day because it's been so foggy. I'm gonna go down by the water for a second. blue hour so everything kind of looks spooky right now but the the lake it like kind of froze over but not a whole lot but whatever ice is left is now melting and this is the observatory here but i'll try to show you the city lights now okay this is honestly more than i thought you could see so here by other planetarium is the best view of Chicago and it's so pretty when the water is like it's blue turquoisey color um, this is also where I took that video the other day of the mist coming off the lake when it was like negative seven degrees out you can't even see the top of the Sears Tower you can't even see the Sears Tower it's so misty and it's been like that all day I'm gonna go wait inside for my friend now so <laughs> Thursday. It's been a week since I started this vlog, so I am going to end this here. Just a recap from the week. I was trying to remember what I did on Monday. Monday was just like an errand day. We went to PetSmart. I had to go to Ulta, Michaels, because I started crocheting, so I wanted to get yarn. Target. And then uh, I remember to start filming when we were in a cute little shop called uh, Four Sided. It's just like lots of cute little items, journals, uh, things like that. Um, so that's what that was. And then Tuesday again. I was super anxious for my callback all day, and then yesterday, Planetarium uh, ended up being pretty cool. Again, it was an Illinois free residence day, so like the museum part we got into for free, but we went to see a Planetarium show that lasted about like 30 minutes, and that was like $15, which is like kind of expensive, I feel like, for for 30 minutes. The show was pretty cool, though. It was a show about the night sky over Chicago, like that day, like live sky watch, so basically talking about all the planets and the constellations that you can currently see without like you, obviously the clouds or the light pollution and stuff which was also cool because it was very cloudy yesterday so we wouldn't have been able to see any stars if we had just looked up anyways and the planetary museum part itself there wasn't like a whole lot to see they had a lot of cool instruments from like the 1600s which that was super neat um but the highlight i think for me was they had an actual piece of the moon and I don't think I've ever seen a piece of the moon, so I was like, whoa, it's just right here in this tiny little thing, and it's just, like, labeled the moon, and it's, I don't know, it's just crazy, because we look at the moon all the time, but it's so far away, and it's just a little piece of it, it was right there in front of me. How crazy. Love the moon. <laughs> I 
I don't have a tour again today, so I'm going to work on editing this vlog, and I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. But otherwise, yeah, that was this week. Even though I feel like I didn't do much, it was actually a rather eventful week in terms of, like, I actually did quite a bit, so it was more interesting for a vlog as opposed to just kind of sitting in my room and, like, doing tours. So I hope you enjoyed. If you are not subscribed already, feel free to do so. I post a lot of like travel related shorts from my travels and I'll keep doing that as I go on more adventures, trips, and I'll continue doing these vlogs if you enjoy them. So if, again, if you're already subscribed from the shorts, thank you for coming along and I hope you stick around and have a great rest of your day, night, wherever you are. Thank you and goodbye.